Hey, it's uh, Scott and Jason from Crawl USA. Uh, if you watched our last video, we did the uh, shakedown run on the Sterling 10.5 with the back half kit and the new ORIs. And uh, one thing that Jason noticed is that the ORIs were bottoming out pretty hard. So uh, I don't think we put enough nitrogen in the in the lower chambers on those. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to charge those up, uh, bring them up to a higher pressure. And, Hopefully it'll uh, smooth out his right a little bit. Um, we're using a power tank kit, and so I thought I'd show you what's in this guy real quick. Um, you know, this video isn't really for people who know a lot about uh, nitrogen charged uh, stuff. You know, if you're familiar with it, this is pretty basic. Because if you, um, you know, are new to these, then it can be a little bit, um, daunting so it's really not that big a deal so this kit is just a single fill it's not a dual fill maybe someday when i grow up i'll have a dual fill kit um this kit comes with a wrench that does everything on your your mother tank and your uh your little portable tank but uh, i like to use a, a thin 11 sixteenths lets me get in where i need to and uh, but this wrench does the same job so either way um this is our little portable power tank fill bottle uh, that we keep filled with nitrogen. This is what we take with us, leave it uh, um, in the trailer, you know, when we go on trails, just in case we need something uh, while we're out. And it comes with, a, this kit comes with a regular, I think they call this a monster fill kit or something like that. And um, gauge and the valve that you need to fill it up and so, that's it, it's pretty simple. All right, so to set this guy up and get him ready, I'm just gonna unscrew this cap. We're gonna put this on, this regulator. Okay, and then we're gonna connect this. This kit also comes with a sling so that you can carry this bottle uh, over your shoulder and it hangs down and it's, it's pretty convenient. But this will allow us to, to fill these struts up. Right? Once we open this bottle, we have this connected to the strut. We open this valve, we can charge it and read what we need to on this gauge. So that's it. Let's get started. All right. So just gonna get into position here. Now, you know, if you ask three people the procedure for changing your uh, pressure on these chambers, you're gonna get four different opinions. So um, for minor stuff, um, I don't um, deplete both struts. So I'm just taking the cap off the Schrader valve. Look at this guy. Thread it on. There it goes. All right, so once that's threaded on, you take your wrench and just snug it. Okay, it has a rubber grommet right it's not gorilla tight you just really just you know you're just trying to hold that gas in so just barely snug all right so now when we open this valve our gauge here will tell us how much pressure we have which is probably not enough i think we probably only put 90 pounds in which is not nearly enough so I'm going to open this. Yeah, and you can see about 90. All right. So now once I open the, the tank, the bottle, and this is charged to about 2000 PSI. Okay, so I open this up.
right? I have my readings on these, on this regulator. Okay, I have my reading for the chamber on the strut. Now I'm just gonna open this valve to let nitrogen into the strut. take it up to about 140 and we'll take it back out and we'll try it there okay so there we are 140 psi okay this valve is closed right so now when I back this off it's going to release a little pressure that's in the in the hose here When I unscrew this, but right now I'm taking the, the closing the Schrader valve, take my wrench, just barely hear a little puff. There's a little oil. These things are filled with oil. And that's it. If you have a dual fill kit, you can do them both simultaneously. That's nice, but uh, and we just do them one at a time. All right, so here's the different angle on the other side. Um, first thing is to remove the cap on the Schrader valve. Now that we're looking at this, it looks like we might need some more in the upper chamber too, because now that these have settled, um, it's a little less shaft showing than um, we want. Now. Adjusting this lower chamber is not going to change how much shaft you have showing on here. That's all right height stuff. That's all upper chamber stuff. So again, we're going to screw this fitting on to our Schrader valve. Okay, get your finger tight. Now I'm going to use my wrench just to just to snug it, just barely, right. Okay. okay, so now when I open this valve, it's going to allow me to increase the pressure in the strut. So we're going to go up to about the same as we did on the other side. Nice and easy. Up to about 140. There. Okay, close that off. Now that's back down. I'm gonna close my Schrader valve by backing this screw out. Okay, and this stuff is really nice, you know. Um, it's a nice kit. Um, so, it's nice and portable. You'll hear a little bit of gas escaping. Yeah. Just a little poof. And that's it. Put our cap back on the Schrader valve. Super simple. And this kit makes it easy. You know, it's portable. I can close down this bottle, take everything apart, put it back in the case, and we're ready for the next one. Releases the gas pressure. Now everything comes right apart. No drama. Screw this guy, the regulator. There we go. Put the cap back on the bottle, put everything back in the case, and we're good to go. And we'll take this out. Uh, we're going down to Caballo, doing some pre run stuff. We're leaving trails for the Great American Crawl um, later this month. It's February. Um, down around Caballo Lake and we're going to go pre-run those trails this weekend and we'll see if this this new pressure feels better. If you're not registered for the Great American Crawl Las Cruces, do it. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and uh, subscribe and we'll try to do more stuff like this. Hope it helped.